Today I will take you to a store which is one of the best surprises I had in Akihabara recently with very exclusive products but also great prices, a rare combination. Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're in Akihabara and I skipped the walkthrough intro because you guys know the place. We are paying a visit to PDG Collector's Shop, a store which is 5 minutes away from the station in the same building as Otachu but one floor higher. And right away you know the store owners are passionate. Look at this amazing showcase here. All these are not for sale items, so it's only for the pleasure of our eyes. This is all part of the owner's personal collection. Of course, we've got cards, we got graded and singles, a lot of vintage with most of the Neo shining Pokemon, but we can see he's missing the Charizard. We've got autographed cards, autographed vintage packs, but they also have different items non-TCG related. They've got plushies, pins, figures, and a very nice collection of World's 2024 Honolulu exclusive items. Some more graded cards, always very exclusive. I really like this showcase and it changes every time I come here, so who knows what else they have available for display in their collection. Anyway, as you can see, PDG Collector's Shop is a very on-point name for this place. And as collectors ourselves, let's see what we can add to our collection. PDG is a little bit like YK, very much focused on graded cards. And that's cool because there aren't so many of them out there. Only Tricaru and YK as far as I know. Prices aren't ridiculous with a good range of items as well, from vintage to modern. Here we've got the Lily's Full Force from Dream League, PSA 10 for 54,000 yen. If you have watched my video about the waifu cards, you know how bad this card crashed during the past year. It used to be something like, what, 15 times this price in 2023? Ooh, another banger! Extra Battle Day Guzma! Another similarity between PDG and YK, because the only times I've seen this card was in both of these stores. YK had it for 328,000 yen though, so PDG seems to have better deals for these high-end graded cards. And while you're having a look at these beauties, let me remind you that, as usual, if you want to support the channel, you can do it via my Patreon. By subscribing, you're gaining access to all the best Pokemon cards fire sales in Tokyo, as well as the possibility to order any Japanese item directly through me without any commission. And of course, don't forget to subscribe to the channel, leave a like, a comment down below, and if you enjoy my content, please share it around you. Ooh, another Lily's full force here, but cheaper than the first one we saw earlier. Wonder why? The slabs price are on par with what you can find at Trekaru. Like this SP on VMAX for 26,000, when most stores have it priced at 30. Oh my dear Erika. Wait, what? 65,000 only? Oh, yeah. That's the PSA 9 corner. Yeah, because don't expect selling or buying anything below a 9 here. <laughs> Not an option. Moving on to the next showcase, and we start with heavy hitters. Charizard GX and Base Set. Two amazing cards. Then we have a very embarrassed looking Pikachu, followed by the Team Rocket. And two Error Ancient Mew. That's, you know, the one that states Nintendo instead of Nintendo. Another banger with a Neo Destiny Shining Charizard. It was missing in their collection showcase, but it is here for sale. Oh, this is not common. A Topson Blue Bag Venusaur. Guys, I don't know if you are aware of that, but these cards are insanely hard to grade. You might have watched the Pokerev video where he sent like, I don't even remember how many, but it was a huge stack of them, all packed fresh. And they all came back six or seven. So, Getting a 10 on one of these babies, that's an accomplishment. Hence the price, 5.2 million yen, $34,000. And we continue the tour with Extra Battle Day Acerola, Charizard Poncho Pikachu, Charizard Deep Red. Oh, wait, that's not a card we see very often. I think I need to show you here, because if you don't know, you won't understand the price difference. So this is your regular base set Charizard. 
Please look carefully at the background color. And that's a deep red version. It's an arrow card. And we continue with some monster cards like Expedition Charizard and Gengar. The Daisuke Club Umbreon Prime. This card alone would deserve a whole video, so I'll save it for later. And we continue with two heavy hitters again. The Gold Star Charizard PSA 10 and the Battle Carnival Spring Mewtwo EX sold for almost 6 million yen. And fun fact, it's a PSA 9. I know most of you aren't aware of it, but this is not a card you see every day. And the reason for it is simple. There are only 48 copies of it in the world. And I'm not talking about graded copies. No, 48 copies. That's it. But same as the Umbreon Prime, I'll save the story for another time. Now is the time for me to announce the name of the Supercharge Breaker giveaway winner. If your name is displayed on the screen right now, congratulations! You just won six packs of Supercharge Breaker. Please get in touch with me via Instagram so I can get your personal information and send you the package. This store is amazing. There is just so much to see. I could go on and on about the story of each card here. Like the Mask Royal from Shining Legends here. 8 million yen, that's over $55,000. Or even better, the Espeon Gold Star promo. Still sealed and sold for 6.5 million yen or $45,000. And we finish this showcase with a set of 5 Misty Steers PSA 10. The appraisal numbers are consecutive, so they come from the same collector. Do I want to know why someone would focus specifically on this card? Maybe not. <laughs> While PDG has amazing graded cards in stock, this is not the only thing worth looking at here, so stick with me a bit longer. We've got Sun and Moon packs, most of the recent Scarlet and Violet set, but also a huge stack of EV heroes. And now the big one. A Japanese sealed base set box. It's my first time seeing one, so I'm a bit emotional. <laughs> I had to ask them to take it out and they accept it so we can have a better look at this beauty. It is not in perfect condition, the sides got damaged, I don't know if you can see it on the screen. A Japanese base set booster box contains 60 packs, so the odds of hitting the Charizard aren't that bad with 60 packs, I guess. But still, 7.5 million yen. That's roughly $50,000. The price to pay for a piece of history, I guess. I don't know if you agree with me, but wow, that was such a cool place. I am seriously considering whether it beats Maggie, Trey Costello, or even YK in terms of the rarity of the items on display. Definitely worth your time if you stop by Akihabara. Hope you enjoyed the trip. That's all I had for you today. I'll see you again next week. Thank you for watching. Bye.